Well, well, so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to give a little class to all the Christians out there that think they know the Bible so well. So I decided to do a search for Lucifer. Let's do a search for Lucifer in the Bible. Okay, I'm on Bible.cc for any of you who would like to follow along and take notes. We're going to do a search for Lucifer. And I come across this verse right here. It's the only place, by the way, in the Bible that Lucifer is found. If you'd like to go ahead and check that out and take notes, please do so. It's in, Oza it's in Isaiah 14, 12. All right. Now, let's look for the word Lucifer. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15 different translations, okay, that we can choose from. Now, out of those 15, we can find Lucifer in hmm. well, there's one, two, three, four, five, Six. Wow, so out of 15 translations, we have only six of those translations which uses the word Lucifer. Well, now that should tell you something right there, Christians, because that's telling you that out of all of your Bible translations that, wow, only six of them have the uh, word Lucifer in it. So I wonder, what is Lucifer actually? Well, what's being substituted in the various versions? Let's see. How have you fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of the dawn? You have been cast down to earth. You who once laid low the nations. Hmm. Okay. So uh, this is 1984. This is the uh, George Orwell version of the uh, New International Version, which, have, which has also replaced Reformation with New Order. So you can see what they do to your Bible, Christians. I wish you would learn. Okay, and so now we're on the second one. We have, uh, how are you fallen from heaven, O shining star, son of the morning? Uh, this one is O day star, O star of the morning, O Lucifer, son of the morning. Hmm. So if we have star substituted for Lucifer all these times, hmm. See, the thing is, is you guys don't actually go out and read your damn Bible and read the different translations because then you would know it is a star. You morning star. O oh, Lucifer, O oh, Lucifer, O oh, day star. Do you know why that is? Because if you go out in the Latin version and what we'll do real quick, we'll go to Google and let's just type in the word because I happen to know where to look for it. And since it all comes from this place anyway, let's find the word Lucifer. And here it is right here. Now this, we're going to translate on Google.com. And it's Latin. And this is what people call Jesus, by the way. Did you know that? And we have and we have the more firm prophetical word whereon to you dwell to attend as a light that shineth in a dark place until they come and the day star arise in your hearts. Now, do you know who actually called this Jesus out there, folks? Well, if you'd like to visit the channel called One of the Ones, he mentioned this actually in one of his videos and he called this Jesus. But gosh, if I go right here, it says, and the day star, what do you think's highlighted over on the left side? Lucifer. So one of the ones called him Jesus. You know, this is really good. This is really kind of ridiculous. And I hear stuff like New Age stuff and stuff like that. You folks should be ashamed of yourself because you will not go out and read the Bible. There's 15 different versions of the Bible here. They all say the verse differently. That should tell you something there. And out of those 15 translations, only six use the word Lucifer, and all the other ones replace the name with Daystar. What does that tell you? Use your brains. Okay? 
O Day Star, O Lucifer, O Morning Star, O Shining One. Okay, O Star, 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 Star. Lucifer is a star. It's what they mention it as in the Bible. And do you now see how you've been programmed for so long? Which Bible version do you go by? Which one's the correct one? Which one has the correct translation? Why don't you translate it yourself? Why do you have to have a priest translate it for you? These are all good questions. Good questions that you should sit down and think about for a little bit before you spew your fear all over the place. So, uh, anyways, that concludes our class for this morning on the word Lucifer. Everybody have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.